Let's get a weather update now. Morning, Natalia. Good morning to you guys. We are checking out another great Aussie small business. It's called Creswick Woolen Mills. It's in Victoria. And we are going to learn how they combine wool from a sheep and wool from an alpaca and turn it into a gorgeous pair of socks. But first, let's take a look at what the weather is doing across the nation. And we'll start things off in Cairns, which can expect a few showers today and a top of 30 degrees. Mount Isa, mostly sunny, 35. And the same forecast for Longreach. In New South Wales, Grafton can expect showers in 23. Broken Hill will be mostly sunny in 26. And Wagga Wagga and Albury will both top out at 25 degrees. In Victoria, where we are waking up, nearby is Ballarat. It'll be mostly sunny there in 20. Sale can expect a sunny day and a top of 21 degrees. A little chilly across Tasmania. Strawn is expected to top out at around 16 today. South Australia, partly cloudy in Mount Gambia, 21. 31 for Coober Pedy. In WA, Albany, a shower or two and a top of 19 degrees. Geraldton can expect a sunny 26. Broome, mostly sunny and a hot 36. And in the Northern Territory, Yalara, partly cloudy 34. And Tennant Creek will be sunny with a top of 35 degrees. Well, I'm joined now by Michael. And Robbie over there is going to hit it on the blending machine. Tell us how these wools are getting together, Michael. So we take beautifully local sourced alpaca fibre and merino wool. We blend them together. We put them into this big, big machine here. It blends all the fibres together. Uh, the there is an oiling process in between. The fibre is shot up through the large pipes you see behind me here. And then the final stage, it ends up in the tank just here. So over here is the combination, Carl and Georgie, of sheep's wool and alpaca wool. And I can tell you right now, it feels like what you think a cloud would feel like, or maybe a big vat of marshmallows. It is soft, it is fluffy, and oh so warm. I'll tell you what, not unlike that fellow's sideburns, <laughs> they are the best sideburns I've seen in a long time. Look at those lamb chops. Aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're very warm. Yes. Just very big warm. lamb chops. Oh, does he? Are they warm? They're, they're very warm. They keep my face warm, especially on a, on a day like today. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Carl. Wow. Just a manly man. They'd be very slimming as well, wouldn't they? They'd sort of contour the cheeks. Maybe I should try some of your Well, you don't need it. <laughs> some, of, some, some, else, some, yeah, some of us do, but you don't. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you want to grow sideburns, that would well, be funny. I don't know. It could be done. <laughs> Save a lot on bronzer, wouldn't you? Good. <laughs> it's true. Blush. All right. Let's get the weather now with Natalia, who I think might be a West Coast supporter. Oh, Georgie. Oh, so wrong. I'm oh. a Dockers fan. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ouch. Ouch. Everyone's oh. complaining this morning. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I love a Dockers scarf. And you know how they make Dockers scarves with wool. And today we are checking out the Creswick Woolen Mills in Victoria. It is a great Aussie family business that's been going for 71 years. Michael and his sideburns are back to tell us about the next process. We've seen the wools blended. Now we're seeing them be carded. Explain that process. That's right, Natalia. So after the wool, the wool and alpaca has been blended, it comes into the back of the carding machine. There are 136 rollers along the length of this machine. They're wire rollers that turn the fibre in the one direction, creating the web that you see here. Oh, it is so beautiful. And the same machinery has been used since the 1800s. So we are seeing history in front of us in the current times, currently. Anyway, let's get your forecast. Thanks, Michael. We'll start it off in Cairns, which can expect a few showers today. You were looking at a top of around about 30 degrees. Brisbane, a shower or two, 26. Sydney, partly cloudy, 23. Melbourne will be mostly sunny in 23. Adelaide, partly cloudy and topping out at 26 degrees today. Perth, a morning shower or two in 23. Alice Springs will be sunny and 32. And Darwin can expect some showers, a possible late storm and a top of 34 degrees. Okay, Michael, explain to us now the next part of this machinery. So after we've created the web, we then go to the cross lapper. The cross lapper lays the web out onto a flat surface and then it goes through another series of rollers, fine wire rollers, still turning the fibre. And up the end of this machine, you'll see the bobbins, which are rolling the individual strands onto the bobbins. And so we've the... seen the wool and now we're seeing we've it turn seen... into, the yarn into the yarn that then goes to make all of the clothes that I am wearing on my body on this Wednesday morning. The kids are all here from local schools. They've joined us this morning. What do you think about this? Good. 
good. I think it's good as well. And uh, Carl and Georgie, you know, I love a good yarn. <laughs> oh, said. Oh. Just whack that on your face like a sideburn. <laughs> that guy's got the best sideburns I've ever seen. Just the... <laughs> like? Lamb chops. Great oh, stuff, Natalia. What Thank a you. great family industry. Awesome. It's a wonderful story. Great business. Thanks, Natalia. Thank you. Time now for the weather with Natalia. Good morning, Natalia. Good morning to you. We are waking up at Creswick Woolen Mills in Victoria, a couple of hours out of Melbourne. This is a great Aussie family business that's been going for 71 years. It's one of the last remaining woolen mills in Australia. And right now you are looking at Susan and Cherie sewing blankets that will then go into David Jones made of pure alpaca wool, handmade here in Australia. Great stuff. Both of these ladies, absolute legends of the industry. Let's get stuck into your weather forecast now and we will kick things off in Cairns, which can expect a few showers today. You are looking at a top of around about 30 degrees. If you're waking up with us in Brizzy, a shower or two and 26. Sydney, partly cloudy, 23. Melbourne is looking mostly sunny. And Adelaide, partly cloudy, 26. Perth, a morning shower or two, 23. Alice Springs topping out at 32 degrees. And Darwin, shower Hours, a possible late storm and a top of 34 degrees. All right, you are looking now at a whole bunch of blankets that are being made here at the Woolen Mills, not just for David Jones, but for other purposes as well. The business was started by these two people's grandfather back in 1947. Sharon, just tell us about this blanket here. It was used in the uh, 2009 bushfires in this area, right? That's right, Nat. So the CFA fire blanket is just one of the products that we've been producing at Creswick Woolen Mills. Really important product um, in all the fire trucks around Australia. It's a special wool aramid blend um, and it can withstand a 220 degree heat. So a really critical item for all of our firefighters around the country doing the great Saves work lives. they do. It is amazing. And uh, just tell us, Boaz, about the charity work that you guys do as well. Good morning, Matt. Yes, we're very, very proud as a, a great Australian small business. We get lots of requests during winter from all around Australia and blankets are donated to charities big, small and um, really special people around Australia that look after the homeless and the needy. Oh, you do some great work and it's particularly important at this time of year because this morning, Carl and Georgie, it is four degrees in Creswick. So mm. my woolen goods are coming in, uh, in handy this yeah. morning. I'm feeling nice and toasty and in all of these beautiful fibres. What a great little family <laughs> business that is and I love the look of that alpaca blanket. I'll take three of those things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Natalia. Thank you, Natalia. <laughs> And, and top of the list is whinging about the weather, Natalia, right? Good morning to you. Welcome back to Creswick Woolen Mills in Victoria right now. You are looking at... <laughs> I stuffed up in the A12 weather yesterday and got my words all jumbled and I've done it again. This is the world's longest picnic blanket, or at least it was at one point in time, it was a Guinness Book of World Records record and it was made right here at Creswick Woolen Mills in Victoria. A beautiful Aussie business. We love supporting Australian businesses. So, so good. And if you think this blanket is big, then wait until you see what we've got for you after we check the five day forecast. Let's get into it and we'll start things off in Brisbane, which can expect a shower or two today. You're looking at 26, then a couple of showers continuing right through until Sunday. If you're waking up with us in Sydney today, good morning to you, partly cloudy and 23. After that, 26 on Thursday, then a shower or two on Friday, and it should be fine over the weekend. Tops in the mid twenties. Melbourne, you are looking at a mostly sunny one today, 23, a little bit chilly this morning though, then it should stay fine right through the weekend. You're looking at a warm 27 on Friday before it cools off a touch. If you're spending this morning in Adelaide, a very good morning to you, partly cloudy in 26, warming up over the next couple of days. Tomorrow will actually be the warmest 29. And Perth is looking at a morning shower or two today, 23 degrees. Then it'll be cloudy after that. Some showers are expected to move in on the weekend, cooling off by Sunday down to 22 degrees. Well, not only do they make the world's longest, largest picnic blanket here at Creswick Woolen Mills, they also sell this jumper, which is one of Barack Obama's favourites. Yes, Obama loves that jumper. And 
if you think Michael's sideburns are big, Carl, we know you love them, then take a look magnificent. at what I'm wearing this morning. Have a look at these giant oh, get Ugg out. boots. Oh, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> Aren't they the best thing you've ever seen? Oh. These will keep me so toasty in winter. Oh, I what want a think, pair kids? of those. Where do we get those? In Creswick. I've got the oh, only that's pair. that's amazing. Natalia, how much do they cost and how do we yeah. get them? I don't know, Michael. Are these for sale? <laughs> they, are, they are a Yeah. They are for you, Carl. Oh, well, no. You're a special customer. Thank you. And you, Sold. Sylvia. Sold. Oh. One each, I reckon. Spend the whole winter in them. Oh, they are phenomenal. Awesome yeah, stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Natalia. Fantastic. It is weather time now with Natalia. Oh, my knee hurts. They're not on the rise. <laughs> Good they morning are. to you guys. We have been spending this glorious morning at Creswick Woolen Mills in Victoria, a couple of hours out of Melbourne, and we've learnt how to turn, yeah, bear to you too, the wool into yarn, and then it goes to make gorgeous clothes like the one I'm wearing, beautiful throws and blankets as well. But the stars of the show here are the alpacas. They're ignoring me at the moment, but come here, I've got food. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come over here. Really? They're not coming for food? I have never seen an animal not come towards food. Here we go. No, over here, darling. Over here. No. No, no one wants my food. I have been absolutely rejected. I'll just have to eat it myself. No, nah, not today. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's get into your forecast and we'll start things off in Cairns, which can expect a few showers today. You're looking at a top of 30 degrees. The Sunshine Coast, possible shower for you, 2 and 27. Brisbane, a couple of showers, 26 and showers also on the GC. Sydney is looking at a partly cloudy day, 23. Canberra, mostly sunny in 22. Melbourne, topping out at 23 degrees today. Hobart's looking mostly sunny in just 18. Adelaide, partly cloudy, 26. Perth, a morning shower or two in 23. If you're waking up with us in Alice Springs, it's looking sunny today and 32. Darwin showers, a possible late storm and a max of 34 degrees. All right, I think I have finally found a friend. Have a look at that. A little alpaca wearing an alpaca scarf here at the Creswick Woolen Mills. Cameron is the man when it comes to alpacas. And Cam, for the uninitiated like myself, what is the difference between llamas and alpacas? Well, so basically a llama is about twice the size. They're mainly used for a, a packing animal where the alpacas are mainly used for fibre and herding. Ah, fantastic. All right, so llamas, much uh, different to alpacas, but these alpacas make great fur. They're shaved about once a year and then turned into great clothes and blankets and stuff. A big thanks to Cam, a big thanks to the people from the Creswick Woolen Mills for having us today, Sharon and Boaz, and to all the kids that turn up and all their mums and dads. And Cameron here, this very handsome fella, turns 21 tomorrow, yeah. Carl and Georgie. So a big happy 21st of Father Hi, Cam. Yeah. Wow. He's a handsome rooster. Oh, it's great. <laughs> oh. Thanks, guys. Oh, happy Thank birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, let's not stay with it. What a, <laughs> what a, what a great Australian yeah. success story. A brilliant business. That is, yeah. Go out, and, go out and buy Australian-made mm. wool products, everyone, for this winter. Here, here, mm. here, here.